let's understand when do we follow some method to integrate now as we saw that if we know or let's say okay now let's say i have been asked to integrate cos x now to integrate cos x i directly know that if i differentiate sin x i had got cos of x so if i integrate cos of x i'll get sin x so this function is directly integrable or i know the value of the integration of this function so in this case we can directly write that the integration of cos x dx is sin x so in this case we don't need to follow an approach but in some cases what happens is that we don't know that which function we had differentiated to get the respective function for example let's say if i am asked to integrate sin of ln of x dx if i'm asked to integrate this function i don't know which function i had differentiated to get this function okay so since i don't know which function i had differentiated to get this function i don't know what the integration of this is if i had known this i would have known the solution which happens when you when you integrate let's say sin x if you are asked to integrate only sin x you know that you have differentiated cos x to get minus sin x so you can write this as minus cos x plus c okay so in these cases where you know don't know the answer of integration directly we follow some methods for such integration now there are several methods for integration the first method which we'll discuss now is integration by substitution or the substitution method now in substitution method what we do is we target fun uh, integration equations which are of the form of like dx which are of this form if the integral is of this form what we do is we will take gx as some variable t now if i differentiate this both sides i'll get this now replace gx with t and g dash x dx with dt what i'll get i'll get this as ft dt now this equation gets simplified and if you know the direct answer to this integration you can directly write the answer okay for example let's take the example which we had i had mentioned the example was i had been asked to integrate sin of ln of x divided by x dx in this case if i say that your gx is ln of x then your g dash x becomes 1 by x right and if i assume this as t if i assume ln x as t i can write 1 by x dx as dt right so this becomes ln x i'll replace with t and dx by x i can replace by dt so this complicated integration becomes a simple integration of involving sin and i know the answer of this is cos of t plus c now to find the final solution what i'll do is i'll replace t with x that is with the value of x you know that t is ln x so this becomes cos of ln x plus c this is my answer now let's take few more examples 
इंटीग्रेट थ्री साइन एक्स प्लस फोर कॉस एक्स डिवाइड बाई फोर साइन एक्स माइनस थ्री कॉस एक्स डी एक्स ओके इन दिस केस वॉट आई डू इज सी वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू डू इज दैट आई एम ट्राइंग टू सिंप्लीफाई दिस इक्वेशन ओके सो दैट आई गेट अ सिंपल इक्वेशन विच इज वेरी इजी टू इंटीग्रेट और हु सोल्यूशन आई नो नाउ इन दिस केस वॉट आई डू इज लेट्स से आई टेक फोर साइन एक्स माइनस थ्री कॉस एक्स एस टी नाउ इफ यू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस you will get 4 cos x plus 3 sin x into dx dt now you see this is the same thing which you have here so my numerator becomes simple dt and the denominator i have t which solution i know as let's see and now what i'll do is to find the final answer i'll replace t with this So my final answer is ln of four sin x minus three cos x plus c. Okay. Now let's take another example. Integrate two tan inverse x divided by one plus x square. dx in this case again what we will do is i'll take 2 tan inverse x as t so if i differentiate both sides i'll get 2 divided by 1 plus x square dx as dt right or dx by 1 plus x square which is here as dt Divided by two, so this integration gets converted to e to the power t dt by two, and whose solution you know is plus c, or I can write it as e to the power two plus c by two is some new constant c dash. Now I'll replace t with two tan inverse x. This is my final solution. Okay. One last question. The question is to integrate cos of two x, cos of nine x dx. Now, a simple rule of hand can be when you ask to integrate. a function which is product of two trigonometric functions like cos 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 sine sine cos sine sine try to convert this multiplication into summation if i convert this what will happen cos 2x cos into cos 9x can be written as half of cos a plus bx that is cos 11x plus cos a minus bx cos 7x dx Now you see this integration becomes so simple. If you integrate cos 11x, what you'll get? Minus sine 11x divided by 11. And if you integrate, sorry, should there be a minus sign? No, because let's recall, if you differentiate sine, you get cos. So if you integrate cos, you'll get just sine, and here you'll get sine of seven x by seven plus some constant c. So your and final answer is sine eleven x by twenty two plus sine seven x by fourteen plus some constant c. Now. just i thought that since i was using trigonometric functions so let's quickly write the different trigonometric equations involving products 
you know that sin ax cos bx can be written as half sin a minus bx plus sin a plus bx here s denotes sin similarly cos bx into cos ax can be written as half cos b minus ax plus cos b plus ax and sin bx sin ax can be written as half cos b minus ax minus cos b plus ax here c denotes cos so these are the three important trigonometric equations which you should be using when you get questions involving product of two trigonometric functions like cos cos sin cos sin sin okay